Welcome to video 68 in series 3 and in this video I'll write the item ammo script and I'll also touch briefly on script execution order. Alright, so I'll make a new C sharp script here and I'll call it item ammo. And by the end of this video there should be some errors, there should be an error or two pop up. So that I'm, so then I'll be able to show you a little bit about script execution order as well. Anyway, let's keep going. So private item master, item master, private game object, player go, public string ammo name, public int quantity. So this is going to be a, an ammo pickup. So you can define it for whatever weapon or you can define it for multiple weapons by attaching uh, more copies of the, exactly the same script and just changing the ammo name and quantity. And uh, I'm giving you two options. One, you can go up to it and press E when the player detects script detects it. You can press E to pick it up. Or you can just walk right into it if you choose to do so using this uh, public bool is trigger pickup. So two options there. And I'll just get rid of the uh, update method. I will leave the start method there, because that'll be what I'll be showing in the end. And uh, I will add a uh, another method after start, uh, the on trigger, void on trigger. So it's a unity method, remember. It has to be uh, written exactly this way. Collider other. And uh, at the end, I'll have another one, void take ammo. Alright, in set initial references, I will say item master, is get component, item master. And then uh, player go is equal to references, game manager references, dot player. So the game object reference there. And that's where I'll get to show you something a little bit about uh, script execution order, which is very important, and you'll uh, come across it in just about every uh, slightly larger project that you ever make. And then uh, next of all, I want this so that if it is a trigger pickup, I want the collider to be set to is trigger and the uh, rigid body set to is kinematic. So if get component collider, which it almost certainly will have. So if there is a collider, then a get component collider uh, dot enabled. Oh, sorry. Dot is trigger is equal to true. Okay. And the next if get component bridge body. And I'll just do here, I'll change that, I'll say not equal to null. That's right, so not equal to null. Okay, so if it's not equal to null, then get component rigid body dot is kinematic is equal to true. Okay. Now I'll call this here and on enable, set initial references. And I guess I can uh, pretty much start subscribing. So there I'll just put here item master dot event object pickup plus equal take ammo. So this is for the option uh, if the player presses E to pick up the item when they detect it. I'll just get rid of that. Okay, good. Now an on trigger enter. If it is the player that has walked into this, then and this is a trigger pickup, then yeah, pick it up. So if game manager references, well rather I should say if other dot ta uh, compare tag, and that'll be a game manager references dot player tag 
and is trigger pickup. So if those conditions are satisfied, then take ammo. All right. So now coming to the take ammo method. And this is just pretty much uh, accessing the uh, player master script. And there was a method on it, which you might remember. So let me just get the player master script. You might remember this one called call event uh, picked up ammo. And it takes in two parameters, a string and a quantity. And this will set the ammunition in the ammo box. So that's what I'm doing. I'm increasing the ammo in the ammo box for that weapon type. All right. Uh, so that is pretty much that. I will also uh, just destroy this game object immediately because it's been used up. So it's not something this ammo clip is not something that sits in the player's inventory. It's immediately consumed and transferred to the ammo box using this method here. Okay, so now it's time to uh, go back to Unity and uh, I guess make a new game object. So I'll just use a sphere, something a little bit different. Let me just reset that. Move it. Give it a uh, rigid body. And it'll need uh, the item master script. From the item scripts, it's going to need item ammo, obviously. Item pickup as well. And as for the layer, I'll just set it to item and leave the tag untagged. Uh, because if you set this to item, then it will try to add it to the player's inventory, which isn't correct. So I don't want that to, that attempt to be done. So just leave it as that. Now what is the ammo name? So going back to the player, you'll remember on the ammo box, you define the weapon name of the ammo name. So I'll just take that exact same name and paste it here and just give it some quantity and I'll see it increment and I'll turn on is trigger pickup. All right, so I'll now run it and I should have an error when I try to walk into it. So let me just get rid of these blocks. All right, see that? It's saying null reference exception. Let's take ammo, this item ammo script. Right, so what it's saying is it can't find player go. It doesn't know who the player go is. It can't get this script on player go. Player go is supposed to be a reference to the game manager references player. Now there's a problem. It's called script execution order. So if I go to um, uh, game manager references, and just have a look at it. You'll see that in on enable, uh, the player game object is set there and, and it uses game object dot find game object with tag which takes a little bit of time it happens in on enable now my item ammo script is also uh, running in on enable uh, well that reference is being established in on enable as well so which one is faster well it turns out this item ammo script is performing its operation faster than the game manager references can complete its so when you come across this kind of situation it's better to just change it in the code you you can you can go here to edit project settings and you can change the script execution order you can add in your uh, scripts to that list so let me just go back there you can add them there and then you can set whether they happen before all the other scripts or whether they happen all after all the other scripts. But through experience, I find that's pretty uh, tedious. It's better to just make simple changes to the code. For example, the set initial references, I can just call it twice. I can just call it in the start method. And I know the start method will happen a, a fair bit later than on enable. And so in that way, there'll have been enough time for the game manager references script to complete its operation. So let me try that again. Jump in. Okay, get rid of that. Walk into it. Okay, it worked. So if I look at the player now, I can see uh, that their ammo has increased from 30 to 80, the current ammo carried. Now let me restart that. That's not the only problem. 
So let me get rid of these. They're out of the way. Let me go up to the spear. Press E. There we go. That's another problem. Okay. So once again, it's the same thing. It's this player master uh, dot call event inventory change. Well, it's not getting set up in time. It's happening too quickly. And as a result, uh, once again, uh, it's just not working because of that. So uh, let's have a look at uh, pretty much see because it's also calling upon that same uh, game object reference. So what we can do is to just put in the start method here. So void start. And I can in fact just cut this and place that into start. Because that's all it's for, that's all it's doing. So now let me jump in. Go up to it. Oops, I <laughs> walked too far. Let me try that again, get rid of it. Press E, there we go. And just so that I can show you, I'll just have a look. See the player starts with 30. If I walk up to the sphere, oh, I just pressed E to pick it up. And there you go, it went to 80. So I've got the ammunition now. And, well, that's all good. So there you go. You've learned a little bit about script execution order. It's a common problem. The moment your project starts to get about this big, uh, it's going to be a, a problem for you. And you'll find that you need to adjust some scripts so that some things run a little later than others. Now, what would you do if, for example, in Game Manager References, you didn't run this code in on enable. Let's say you were establishing a reference and start for something else. Another option is to do it in awake so that it happens earlier before everything else. But let's say, for example, you for some reason you had to have it in the start method and then you had other scripts that were relying on this that they needed. Then putting those in the other scripts, having stuff called in the start method, isn't going to help you. You're going to have the same error. So then you can use something like invoke to delay when you would like, for example, set initial references. And you saw that in chapter one. So you could delay by like 0.1 seconds or something like that, just to give you enough time to set up all your references correctly. Another option is to not... Um, so you can see that I'm doing this out of efficiency. I'm trying to make my code more efficient efficient by establishing a reference once and then just storing it and then just calling it as required. Now, uh, another thing I could have just done is I could have just done a direct call. So I could have actually just said here, I copy that, just replace this and put that. And this is, it hardly uses up any more resource. So really, I could have just done that and there would have been no problem uh, whatsoever. So there you go. I just showed you a couple of things uh, about uh, script execution. And uh, well, that's it. I think that's enough for this video. So thank you for watching.